Hello beautiful people. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to the healthy side of my channel. Uh, in today's video, we are going to take a look at my go-to recipe for instead of using a pre-workout, this is what I use when I'm in the gym, when I'm doing cardio, lifting weights. We're going to take a look at the recipe. We're going to take a look at how I prepare it. The long version of prepping. It's very long. It's very detailed. So uh, I normally use a pre-workout, but I had some bad experience. Uh, I was using one pre-workout that wouldn't let me sleep. So I decided that I'm going to make my own. So the ingredients are as follow. Beets, which are rich in antioxidants. The benefits of beets are as follows. Lower blood sugar and insulin. Lower the risk of diabetes complications such as kidney disease and cardiovascular disease. But the main reason why beets is the number one ingredient in my homemade pre-workout drink is because Concentrated beetroot juice is shown to improve cardiorespiratory endurance, which simply means you will have more energy to run longer on the treadmill or to deadlift or whatever weightlifting you're doing. I will post the link of the study in the description box below. My second ingredient is turmeric. Corcumin is a natural anti-inflammatory compound that have great medicinal effects on the entire body. Corcumin is known to be effective against rheumatoid arthritis. Studies also have shown that curcumin is as effective as Prozac in alleviating symptoms of depression. One very important thing when using turmeric in order for it to be well absorbed in the body, you need piperine. Piperine is derived from black pepper. I will put the link in the bio of the piperine supplement that I take instead of sprinkling black pepper in my drink. The third top ingredient is ginger. I rarely juice without these three top ingredients. I will leave out beets if I'm making my green and yellow juice. We will do that next time. Ginger has many benefits. In a 2015 study of 41 participants with type 2 diabetes, 2 grams of ginger powder per day lowered fasting blood sugar. Ginger may help to lower cholesterol level, can help treat chronic indigestion, and many more. I also use celery, carrots, lemon, and grapefruit, which are also packed with antioxidants, which may help to neutralize free radicals. Now that we've got that down lock and load it, let's get into prepping. So it's very important that, that once you've had all your ingredients ready, it's time to wash wash and wash and I literally mean three washes for your veggies like the carrots, celery, turmeric and ginger. The first wash is to soak and I use a 98% natural fruit and veggie soak. You can soak for about 15 to 30 minutes. After that we are going to do the second wash which consists of using our hands to remove the dirt from the fruits and veggie. Use your fingers to rub and remove the dirt from the creases. Use your knife to remove any blemishes. And the third wash is to remove any lingering dirt. After that, it's time to get to peeling and pruning. Depending on the juicer you have, you will need to cut your fruits and veggies accordingly. For more information on different type of juicers, see my video in the link below. I'm using a masticating or cold press juicer. With the cold press juicer, I have to cut my veggies smaller. Beets, oranges, and lemons don't need to be washed three times. If you're removing the skin, 
Now it's time to juice and enjoy. I always do a big batch and freeze some and I use as needed. As you can see by the water, the residue that was left um, in the water, you can see the real importance of really washing and preparing your veggies properly because this is something that you will be ingesting. This is something that, you know, is going to go in your bloodstream. So I suggest just to, just to make sure that you're ingesting you know, something clean and proper. I suggest you really uh, take my suggestion and do the three washes. And I personally, I like to use organic fruits and veggies. Not all the time I'm, I'm able to find organic beets, but whenever I find them, that's what I use. When peeling your fruits and veggies, especially the beets, you might want to wear a glove because the, 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 the beets always leave a, pig, a red pigment on your hands, which will take a couple of days to get off. On this particular day, I didn't have any gloves, so I just peeled it anyways. Um, you can see it's a pretty, it's a pretty big job. It's a, it's a labor of love, but um, I'm reaping the benefits. I don't need to use a pre-workout that it's filled with things that I can barely pronounce. And again, it really gives me that pump, that extra energy, that extra strength that I need to do my jogging on the treadmill or to do my jumps, as you can see in the video that it's coming along. But I really suggest that you try this recipe. I sometimes use uh, cucumbers, but I didn't have cucumber on this particular day. But I find that one really helps too. Basically, you can juice anything that you want. Except, I mean, like stuff like coconut. You can't juice coconut. You need a special juicer for that. But tomatoes kiwis your kiwis need to be firm before you juice them and for me uh, grapefruits and lemon i like to remove the skin i know some people have suggested that for your lemon you should soak them and uh, really wash them very well and you can juice them but for some reason i don't really trust juicing lemon Ginger and turmeric, I don't remove the skin. I just really wash them very well. I rub, I really rub, I scrape. And that's how I get them clean. As I said, this is a really, it's a labor of love. But you will love the benefits. You will see right away that you're able to run longer. You know, just use it as water or as a pre-workout when you're on the treadmill. When I'm on the treadmill, I'm always sipping. I'm always sipping my beet juice. When I'm lifting my weights, I'm always sipping my beet juice. Um, this is not a flavor contest. So it doesn't taste bad. I will admit to you that it doesn't taste bad. The flavors do come together very well. But it's not a... It's not sweet is not sugary the beets and the carrots do give it a a nice taste the ginger and the lemon everything is just well balanced out but it's you know that it's homemade you know that it's not those ones that you find in the grocery store or at the gym it's 100 percent natural and nothing better than natural juice for your body because you're working on your body you want to be in shape, you want to be fit, you want to reap all the health benefits, I suggest that you go the natural way. I like to juice in bulk, and then I just store it in the fridge or the freezer. If you're in a cold country, you can store the bottles in the backyard, in a bin, you know. So that's what I do. And look, look at the beautiful color. Look at that. The rich, beautiful color it's very yummy that's what gave me the push to go my extra mile
Trophy.